Supreme Court of India has now partially stayed the central government's order, making the Aadhaar card mandatory for filing income tax returns. Making amendments to the finance bill, the government had earlier ordered to make Aadhaar mandatory. Now this would require an individual to link their Aadhaar card as well as their PAN card numbers this to file their tax returns. Well, after today's order, only those with a unique identification number will be required to link it to their PAN numbers. The Apex Court is still hearing the cases on whether Aadhaar infringes on the privacy of an individual or not. Referring to the ongoing hearings, the Supreme Court said that until a decision is made on these cases, the order must be stayed. Again, a developing situation coming in. A partial stay on for the Aadhaar card. When it comes to dealing with the PAN card, the Supreme Court asking to stay on the issue, still hearing cases on whether or not this will perhaps uh, infringe on the rights of an individual's privacy. The uh, hearings will continue. Let's go to Weon's uh, correspondent, Jessica Taneja, outside of Vijay Chalk to guess the very latest. Jessica, what are you picking up this hour? Well, Archie, it seems like an oxymoron a sort of a verdict here, wherein uh, at, this, at one hand the Apex Court says that you don't, in fact, need the Aadhaar card. Uh, you know, if you don't have one, your PAN card should suffice. But they said, on the other hand, that if you do have an Aadhaar card and a PAN card altogether, they need to be seated as what the argument is, in fact, intact with what exactly the uh, Attorney General arguing for the government was saying that this is a legislature process. This is a, this is a you know law passed by uh, the the central government saying that there's so many tax evasions one has to control the government has to control where these tax evasions are going and in fact for that to keep a check on whether people are paying their taxes properly or not and on time and whether some of them in fact not paying it Aadhaar needs to be made mandatory because there was multiple cases where pan cards were being used uh, and uh, you know multiple pan cards were being used forged pan cards again and again by multiple users and in fact they saved themselves from paying taxes so this was primarily the government's argument but on the other hand uh, Mr. Shah, the one who's arguing for the petitioners who raised some security issues saying that your iris scan and your fingerprints cannot be given to the government altogether. This breaches the security of an ordinary citizen and especially given the fact that Aadhaar card is voluntary. All right, let's go to uh, our chief political editor, Karthika Sharma, also standing by working his sources to get us the latest. Karthika, uh, you know, is this sort of uh, uh, an extension perhaps of demonetization in some way uh, to, uh, you know, uh, make sure that everyone individually does file their returns? What's the big picture here? See, the reason why this controversy continues is because uh, during UPA 2, Chidambaram, who at that point of time happened to be the Home Minister, and uh, Jairam Ramesh, who uh, at a particular point of time with Nandan Nelikini were advocating for Aadhaar based subsidies, has not been able to reconcile. See, UID system or the biometric system entirely depended upon multiple checks in which you know your uh, retina scan was mandatory, fingerprinting was mandatory, and it would have become your identification number. But that was something very, very intrusive. Aadhaar was introduced by Nandan Nelikini uh, as, a, as, a, as a system to introduce subsidy to the rightful people people rather than being pilfered by those who don't need it. But now under the new dispensation, Aadhaar is being again touted as a universal identification uh, mechanism. Now there are a lot of fears that this system will lead to not only pilferage of information but Aadhaar systems can be hacked and through single identity process you can come to know bank account, bank transactions. So the government is right in saying that this will increase uh, financial transparency and if you have nothing to hide then what do you need to fear? But then what about the, uh, you know, know the private players who hack into the government systems uh, like for example hacking into credit cards hacking into the debit cards so that's where the dilemma of Aadhaar is but presently the debate is whether it should be mandatory or not the government is pressing for it it should be mandatory to ensure that the financial transactions of high net individuals or financial transactions uh, which they suspect account for black money or Havala transaction can be tracked through Aadhaar so I think that's where that you know that's the judgment which we we'll need to wait for but now as, a, as our legal correspondent Jessica Taneja summed up, it's a partial judgment, you know. It talks about good points and bad points, but has not come to a conclusion.
And how difficult, Karthike, would it be to actually implement that, you know, the, with the population, to actually implement this through and really manage it to make sure it effectively works and it is being used by the right hands and that uh, level of uh, privacy is not uh, compromised. How difficult could that be? Uh, or is that a step in the right direction? See, the government will need to ensure that the data stays intact. The bottom line is that the data can be shared with the government. Anyway, anyhow, the government has our financial data. It has other social security data. Now, the issue is everything gets linked to a number. For say, for some hacker, he happens to get his hand on the number, then what will happen? Then how will the government compensate you? These are the legal issues. Plus, then there are the ethical issues of privacy. What sort of information should be made available to the government at the point of time when they suspect you to doing something illegal or all the time? So these are ethical questions which are being asked. The court will need to resolve both the economic and ethical dimensions of this debate. All right, really quickly, let's go over to Jessica. Jessica, does this perhaps uh, certainly uh, favor certain classes of society, perhaps making it easier for them? Or, you know, how will this sort of appeal to the, the general public in terms of uh, whether or not Aadhaar should be mandatory? Well, I think there have been very, you know, sort of dynamic debates around this, Archit, so to say, in the past uh, one, two months or so. And it has been in discussion for a very long time. And when it uh, comes to ordinary citizens, many of them are the, of the view that Aadhaar being made mandatory in itself is an additional sort of work for an ordinary citizen who does not have an Aadhaar card. But at the same time, PAN cards are more susceptible uh, to fraudulent activities and tax evasions. And in fact, if you know the country's statistics, a lot many people do not really in fact pay taxes. It's not really me coming out with statements, it's actually the fact. And uh, one needs to understand these are crucial steps being taken by the government. Important thing to point out here, Archit, is while the judgment was being read out inside the Supreme Court, they made it very, very clear that they're making such changes or this partial stay also kept in mind the humanitarian conditions. One will not be harassed or there will be no criminal procedure against any individual if they do not uh, have an Aadhaar card. In fact, they've referred the whole matter, uh, the case, to the seven special bench, the constitutional bench of seven judges, which in fact is going to hear uh, in detail as to whether it has to be made mandatory or not. Right now, Aadhaar was formed as a voluntary act, as a voluntary uh, uh, sort of ID at the moment. But I think given the fact that people have to, the way the government has made it easy for every, at every centre, in every city, that your Aadhaar can be made that easily, it should, be, it should be very difficult for the citizens to get an Aadhaar card made. But then again, the privacy issue cannot be rolled out. And un in unfortunately, the court today put up their hands and said that we're not really interfering in the privacy issues. This is the special constitutional bench that will decide. So only we'll only get the human side of it till the time the constitutional bench actually comes out with some observations and in fact the final result as to whether the citizens will, will have to get an Aadhaar card mandatory or not. Until that time, let's inform our viewers that they're still their PAN card is still in fact valid. So they All don't need to worry. All right, Jessica Taneja and Kartika Sharma getting us the very latest on the Aadhaar debate. Thank you both for your perspectives and inputs. That does it for for us here at Weon, World is One News. More news and updates continue on the other side. I'm Archit Tashadri. Thanks for joining us. Have a great day.